thank you all for coming to the regulatory palooza. I know it's, thank you, thank you. I know it's a little over the top, but regulation can be sort of dry. So we thought palooza makes everything seem like more fun. So uh, we hope everyone has a lot of fun today. Um, we are involved in something that's never do been done before. Often when you pass a bill, and in fact, when, I, when we passed this bill, Senator Fulmer and I, we had a signing ceremony in the rotunda, and it was like, okay, that was great, nice knowing all you people. Uh, but then we started realizing that the regulations that flesh out a bill actually have far more to do with how the protocol actually works at the end of the day, and that our job was not done. And we know that there have been states that have done it very well, and we have know there are states that have done it poorly, and everything in between. And we decided, you know, the best thing to do is to get advice from all of the experts. We have patients, we have entrepreneurs, we have people who want to be growers and dispensers and processors. We have attorneys, we have doctors, um, we have regulators, we have people from 30 states who have come to give us uh, their expertise in terms of what has worked and what has not worked in other states. So there's 24 breakout sessions that talk about every issue from how, how, we get, how do we make uh, it, it uh, so how do we decide who gets a license? What's the application process? What's the role of doctors? What's, uh, wh wh what do we do about patient safety? What do we do about banking? What do we do about all of those things? It does set uh, your state apart from all the other states. Way down there. You just start with 100,000 foot grow or can you start with 25,000 feet? But show your application, this is how we're going to meet the market demands. We're in nine states. We sell to about 1,200 dispensaries. We've gone through this process now 11 times. Um, so I think you're, you're on the right track by doing what you're doing, taking your time, getting input not only from your own citizens, but inviting the outside world to come in to share with you their experiences. By bringing everybody together, we all bring something a little bit different by virtue of where we come from or what we're doing or how we're operating. And to be able to put all of that, that brain share together hopefully allows for Pennsylvania to have you know one of the, the preeminent cannabis uh, programs in the United States. Uh, it's my responsibility to help set up the markets as we go from state to state. This has been an opportunity to get with like-minded people who are all very passionate and knowledgeable about the same topic, you know, talk about what best practices are, and really get our voices heard by the people who are going to be putting, in, putting these regulations in place. It's unlike anything we've experienced yet. There are so many moving parts when it comes to the medical community. Everything from what is my liability from the standpoint of medical malpractice? What is my liability uh, from the standpoint of the federal government versus the state government? How do I educate myself? And really, is, is this a legitimate therapy? So from a clinician's standpoint, all of those issues need to be addressed. Now, you do want government oversight to keep quality control, to make sure that conflicts of interests are prevented, and uh, to keep an eye on things and allow it to really do what it ultimately intends to do, which is serve the patient, patients. Not only the patients that are here or the parent advocates that are here, but that even the industry and the business people that are here are saying, let's remember, this is because of the patients. And, and yes, I think people come into it thinking they will make money, and I, I'm not going to dismiss that that's a goal for many, but a lot of people are remembering that this is about the patients, and it's, it's uh, reassuring. You know, it, it's been a, you know, a nice long process to get here, but it's, it's, it's here, and it, it seems to be moving in an in a, in a, in a, in a intelligent but urgent way. Um, so, you know, as somebody that uh, could definitely benefit from it, um, you know, I'm excited about that, you know, because uh, now, you know, I, I actually, you know, I've been doing a lot of things in other, other states and other countries. Um, so it would be good to be able to, um, you know, have that care here. We want to encourage people to go into business and try and be successful, but we also want it to serve the people of Pennsylvania, and I think that's what's going to happen. We do it the right way, and I'm going to make sure I work with uh, the senators and others and the governor to make sure we do it the right way. We think there will be thousands of jobs created, uh, hundreds of millions of dollars of tax revenue, and a lot of people who get relief from suffering.